Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm sure you've heard the news already, but yep, there is going to be no DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. And you know what? I'm okay with this decision. Straight off the bat, I am okay with this decision. For me, I love Tears of the Kingdom. Don't get me wrong. I would love to have more islands, like more sky islands. That was like my dream DLC for Tears of the Kingdom was just more big sky islands. For me personally that was probably my favorite region to traverse into the kingdom like being able to fly to all these different islands and honestly i would have loved to see more from that realm but you know what i am okay with this decision but before we get into the rest of the video if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this so yeah no tears of the kingdom dlc yeah, we, we could get something like a master mode, which by the way, that's probably the weirdest thing, is that Tears of the Kingdom doesn't have a master mode. In Breath of the Wild, there was a master mode where it was really difficult, uh, the enemies were a lot tougher, I believe they like went up a tier in their like little color variations, and they would regenerate health, which was the worst thing about that mode. Like everything else, I'm okay with. But when you start regenerating health after I just put in a good few hits on you, that's a no for me. <laughs> that's when that mode ended for me. <laughs> it was just, it wasn't even that it was difficult. It was just more annoying. So I was hoping that they would bring that back, but maybe make it a little bit different or modify it. But surprisingly, no. I mean, it was a surprise enough that Breath of the Wild got DLC, but even that was announced before the actual game came out. Whereas Tears of the Kingdom, people were just wondering, you know, when they were going to announce DLC because, well, Breath of the Wild had it, so Tears of the Kingdom must have it as well. But, as we know, that's not the case. So the source that we get this information from is from Famitsu, the Japanese gaming publication. And we basically hear from the horse's mouth from Aonuma and the director of Tears of the Kingdom, basically saying that they feel like they've done everything to create fun in the world of Tears of the Kingdom, and that he and the director are looking forward to the next fun experience. Now it's actually in this interview that I get my hopes about the future of Zelda from. Yeah, we're not going to get Tears of the Kingdom DLC, which, you know, it is disappointing because I made, you know, videos about talking about what outfits I would love to see because Breath of the Wild had some cool returning outfits from uh, the series prior or, you know, the games prior to Breath of the Wild, which was so cool. I was really hoping to see stuff like that again, you know, whether it's tied to Amiibo or just, you know, finding it in chess around the world. I, I figured they would do that again, honestly. You know, even just that. Not even like a huge expansion or anything, just that alone. But either way, I'm actually not as disappointed as I thought I would be. I was really expecting DLC. Like, I was right there just like, okay, whenever the next Direct is happening, that's when we're gonna find out, you know, they're gonna be adding more Sky Islands or, you know, more vehicle parts, because that's also a thing that I would expect from a Tears of the Kingdom DLC, is just more vehicle parts. That would have been cool. I don't know, the possibilities are endless when it comes to Tears of the Kingdom, and the possible DLC that could have been. But that said, I'm excited just for the future of Zelda, because, yeah, I would have loved DLC for Tears of the Kingdom, but because they're not working on that, that means that they can work on the next Zelda game right away. They don't need to, you know, split a different team, you know, a smaller team working on DLC. No, they can just go straight into working on the next Zelda game. And this Zelda game, the next one, is probably going to be brand new in a brand new world, you know, brand new Link, Zelda, Ganon. Hopefully Ganon makes it in this one because we waited so long to have a new Ganondorf. But yeah, just just new, new stuff, which I am all for. I am so excited. Don't get me wrong, I love Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom's Hyrule, but we've had it for years now. It's a great open world sandbox, and I love it for that. 
But it's time to move on. It's time for a new Hyrule. Or better yet, take us somewhere else out of Hyrule. You know, take us to another land. I don't even care <laughs> at this point. I am just excited to just speculate and to see what the new Zelda game has in store. Is it going to go more futuristic? I really, <laughs> I say that. And I actually do think that is a possibility, especially when you look at the concept art for Breath of the Wild. I feel like the team behind The Legend of Zelda now kind of wants to go to go into a more modern or maybe sci-fi Zelda. And I'm going to be real with you. I would not like that. I, I think where Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom went, I think that's plenty of modern right or, or not even modern but you know that's plenty of sci-fi right there like that i'm cool with that i'm cool with ancient tech because we have had that in previous zelda games like skyward sword for example where you know you have this ancient technology you have robots and stuff i'm okay with that but like if link wields a gun no <laughs> like th that's where that's where i drop off <laughs> No, no, that's where I draw the line. Like, I'm still going to get the game, don't get me wrong, but I'm going to complain about it a bit. And I think we're getting closer, right? With Tears of the Kingdom, we're straight up driving vehicles. We're building vehicles, we're making robots, essentially. And yeah, we're just getting a little too close for my comfort with the introduction of the motorcycle and Breath of the Wild. Even that, I was like, oh, I, <laughs> that, that's a little too modern for my taste. But either way, I'm just excited to be in this era where we don't know what the next Zelda game is going to look like. Like with Breath of the Wild, all we could do is speculate. Even when they showed us footage of Breath of the Wild, and I mean back when, I believe it was 2015, 2016, when we all thought Link was a girl, and... You know, we're just wondering what this octopus robot was doing running around the place. Like, things were crazy. And then Breath of the Wild came out many years later. And it is the amazing game that it is today. So I'm really excited to see that. I hope they don't, like, drip feed like they did for Breath of the Wild. That would be very, <laughs> that'd be very hard and disappointing. Just because, obviously, they're going to make a new Zelda game. That's just a given thing. But we don't need to know every step of the development. I feel like they could just release, you know, some side Zelda games, some offshoots, if you will, re-releases. And then when the time comes and when they're ready to show off the game and not just little teasers here and there, then they can show the game off in a proper trailer. Like, I just don't want to see like, oh, here's the beta footage or, you know, here's like a little sneak peek and it's like doesn't really look like the actual game itself it's i just don't want that even though that was really interesting and fascinating at the time but we didn't know how far into development that was and it turns out it was like years later when the game actually released that we got to see the full game and not that kind of beta footage so yeah it stinks that Tears of the Kingdom isn't getting DLC, but at the same time, this just means that the next Zelda game, the next brand new Zelda game, is just going to come out that much quicker. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on this news. Are you disappointed? Are you excited that they're just going to be moving on from Tears of the Kingdom and straight into a brand new Zelda, probably going to be in a new world too? Let me know what you think down below, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. God bless.